a tournament for all. That is Qatar's World Cup ambition. This football match involving players who are hearing impaired was the sporting centrepiece of a conference aimed at ensuring every fan can play a part at these finals. The head of world football was in attendance to underline his organization's commitment to the cause. When we speak about football, we speak about joy, we speak about happiness, we speak about smile. We want to give a moment of smile, a moment of joy to people. Qatar's Accessibility Forum has been in place since 2016, an annual gathering of disability experts from around the world. Wheelchair users, visually and hearing impaired fans, supporters with mental health issues and those with different sensory requirements are all represented here. Their collective aim? To ensure this is a truly inclusive World Cup. Having lived and worked in Qatar for more than a decade, Ahmed Habib has witnessed the country's transformation. What we've seen here in Qatar is, uh, is remarkable in terms of accessibility. The tournament has been a catalyst for change. Fans arriving to Qatar will be able to you know, hop on a taxi or hop on the metro and go to their accommodation, which we've worked with to ensure that it's accessible. They'll be able to go to all the fan zones and fan sites and go to stadiums. There are sensory rooms in three of the World Cup stadiums, often used by children with autism. These spaces provide a view of the match as well as a calm and secure environment. Every station on the Doha Metro is fully accessible and all of the stadiums have been designed with wheelchair access in mind. The view will be extraordinary. I mean, it literally is as good as anyone else in the house and uh, if you went back not that many years, uh, as a wheelchair user you were struggling when people stood up in front of you, you wouldn't necessarily see when things got exciting um, or you'd be in a situation that you had an obstructed view and things like that. Every view here is as good as everyone else has. This is a World Cup that's been designed to deliver a lasting legacy for the disabled community. Andy Richardson, Al Jazeera, Doha.